What's going on everyone? This is Marshmallow Man and welcome today to We Were Here. Uh, this is a horror two-player game. Well, maybe not a horror, but I have a feeling I'm gonna get scared. And uh, you're supposed to bring a friend. You need a friend to help you get through this game. And if you don't... Some sort of friend. Yeah, if you don't have a friend, you can just grab a Kurt too. And <laughs> hopefully he won't leave you to die. Yeah, fat chance. <laughs> All right, uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll kind of figure out this game as we go. Uh, it's a free-to-play game on Steam. There'll be a link to it down in the description below. Um, but basically, there's one of us that's an explorer, and the other one of us is a librarian, and we find walkie-talkies, and we have to help each other uh, survive. Are you ready, Kurt? I don't know. All right, let's go. You got to hit ready. <laughs> I, I did! What the fuck? <laughs> Jesus <There> Christ. <laughs> I just wanted to build a little bit of a... <laughs> a little bit of anticipation there. Get you excited for this game. Pumped. Okay. I'm excited for this load bar. Oh my god, mine's looking really good. Oh, that was quick. The ghostly footprints. Oh, there's people. I see them. Is that us? Oh. I mean, there's four of us, so. Uh oh, two of us are leaving. Those are the two that die. So that's us? <laughs> no! Those are the two of us that told him, don't do it! Don't go! Uh oh. Well, they're already dead. Haha! -ha! Did they need that flare to see the castle? No, shit. It was like 12 steps away. Maybe the flare just like made it not invisible. And no front door either, that's a bold choice. That's when I turn around and say I'd rather freeze to death. Yes. Uh... Fuck whatever this is. What? Are we trying to hold hands and something's gonna kill us? Don't have that kind of relationship. Hold my mitten. <laughs> we were here. Okay. Oh, so we're dead. We were here. <laughs> now we're in hell. <laughs> Hello, come in, Kurt. You're uh you're breaking up pretty bad. I mean that's what happens when we use 80s level walkies. I think you have to hold it for like an extra second or two when you finish talking for it all to like go through. Oh, okay, roger that. Okay, well, I need some help. Uh, I'm in a, I'm in a room. Uh, there's a bunch of like glowing eyes up at the top. And there's uh, some writing on the wall that says, The answer lies. And it looks like it's written in blood, so that's a little scary. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I, uh, I see none of this. Uh, fuck me! I'm scared! What's in the room? Over. Uh, can you repeat that? Sorry, I was getting ready to say something. Uh, I hate you. Over. Roger that. Go fuck yourself. Now I need real walkies in real life. <laughs> Didn't they have walkie-talkies in Step Brothers? I would answer that if I'd seen Step Brothers. Well, I'm going to the options menu, and when it asks me, are you sure you want to leave your friend to die? I'm going to say yes, no hesitation. <laughs> that's, that's an understandable option. Okay, so, um, I suppose you're supposed to give me some kind of guidance to get out of here. I have a door that has, like, a gate in front of it, and it says that I can open it, but it says the door is locked. Are there any colors to the gates or anything like that? Uh, the gate has purple dots on it, and it appears to have a skull in the middle. Over. 
Yeah, sounds uh, like you're fucked. <laughs> Thanks for the help. Anytime, librarian out. So is there something is there something I'm supposed to be looking for in this room? Because there's literally nothing. There's a couple of books spilled on the floor, but I can't like interact with them or anything. I don't know. Over. So literally where I'm at, I have a map, but the map's not descriptive. It just shows a uh well, shows nothing now. One second. Okay, so like when I make this map have colors, it shows uh, like a blue X and then a blue filled in line, a blue open line, uh, a red X with the same stuff and a green X with the same stuff. And I don't know if that means that that's marking where you're at. I'm not sure. Okay, um, I did find a wall in here and... Fuck, sorry. I found a wall in here that has a bunch of symbols on it that I can interact with, and it seems like I'm supposed to hit them in some kind of sequence. Um, like, some of the symbols are simple. That one kind of just looks like a, the letter M. Um, one is, like, an X with a circle through it. One is, like, a line that it looks like it has a butt on the top. Do you see anything, like, in, uh, I don't know, some kind of sequence I'm supposed to press these? Um, I actually do have a graph on a wall with those symbols on it, but I'm not sure if there's a sequence. Yeah, because it lets me press them, and I pressed one of them, and it lit up, and then I pressed the second one, and it gave me like a, sorry, you lose sound, and they both turned black. Okay, try this. Try the one with the, uh, A and it looks like there's a T inside of the A. Press that. Done. And then do the one that looks like ass cheeks that just sprayed the life out of it. No, it gave me the sorry sound. Okay. Um, ass cheeks that sprayed the life two. out of it. It, it The first one, when I pressed it, like when I pressed the A with the T, it like lit up. And then when I pressed the second one, it they both uh, unlit and it like played a sound like wah, wah. Um, I'm sorry, the walkie cut out at the end. What was that noise? Wah, wah. <laughs> that was the one. Um, uh... Fuck. Try try ass cheeks and then X. Did you mean the X that has like uh, the circle in the middle of it? Uh, this X has a circle and a line through the middle of it. No, that didn't work. Okay, well, um, there are one, two, three, four, five, six. There's seven other options that we could do here. Otherwise, I don't know. Let's just try them all. Let's just go for it. Okay, uh, this one is going to be, it's going to be like the A, but it doesn't have a T. And then the M. No, that's no good. All right, X with circle line and then AT. Negative. X with circle and then the weird ass looking Z, but not the one with like the squiggles coming off of it. Negative. All right, M and T, let's say. That opened the door. The door is open. Excellent.
I'm in. Um, there's a room in here that has a bunch of candles. There's a grandfather clock. And there is a picture of a dog in a dress. I wish I saw a dog in a dress. I freaking see a <gasps> snail shell on top of a crane. A crane with a backwards face. Uh, a peacock with a goat head. And... I don't even fucking know what that is. I was very wrong about the dog in the dress. I got close to it, and it's a crow uh, with, like, the front feet are, like, bird's feet, and the back feet are, like, a pig's feet, and then its head is a skull. <laughs> that is, uh, that's horrifying. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so in here I have another wall of, like, symbols. Um... There's a bunch of weird ones. There's, like, uh, one that kind of looks like an upside-down man with his legs bent at the knees. There's one that looks like a stick-figure cat. There's one that looks like a turtle. Um, do you see any kind of sequence to these? It says I can pick them up, not just press them like the last time. Over. Uh, yeah, there are three symbols that resemble uh, those underneath all of these pictures. I'm worried about getting murdered by a skull dog pig, bird, so save your puns, over. Can't help it, stressed out, over. <laughs> okay, so what are the three symbols that you have? Okay, uh, sorry, so say, say what your thing looked like again. Uh, I've got a big wall, and it has a bunch of them. There's actually, like, 15 of them on here, I think. Um, or maybe more. And there's, like, one of them looks like a, the letter F, except it has, like, two lines in the middle. There's one that looks like a guy standing in a boat. There's one that looks kind of like an hourglass. There's one that looks like uh, a turtle, a cat, a bunch of just random things. What's the picture look like, not the, the pictograms? I don't have- oh, the picture, like, on the wall in here? Or the picture that they're, that they're in front of? Uh, your creepy animal demon. Uh, it has bird's feet for the front feet. It has, um, a skull for a head. It has, like, two layers of feathers on its back. And its feet look like they're maybe, like, from a pig or a bull or something. Are you still there? The grand the grandfather clock in here is now ticking faster. Uh, I forgot that we were talking over walkies and was talking to myself over. Dear God. Okay, help me. <laughs> I need you to explain the monster again. I was distracted. Over. Okay, it has a skull for a head. It has four legs. The front two are like bird's feet or chicken's feet. And the back feet look like they're maybe from a bull. And then on its back, it has like two layers of feathers. Okay, I have that exact picture in this room. So, um, are you near the wall with the other pictures? Yep, I'm here, ready to go. Did you forget we're talking over walkies again? Ah, ah, no, no, asshole, I didn't. Um, so, uh, first symbol, it's gonna be a box that doesn't have the bottom line, and then a hook with a circle on the top of it. Okay, next. All right, second symbol, trident with a upside down U. Uh, 
upside down U, not V, correct? Yes, U, that is correct. Okay, last one. Uh, and then the last one is gonna be, uh, it looks like an umbrella that lost the top part and it grew spikes. I think I found which one you're talking about, and I hope that's not how you described it. I will find out soon enough. No, that was not it. Um, you grab the one that looks like a cursive F, but it has like four lines coming out of it. No, I didn't. Is that the one? Yeah, that should be the one. Wow. That was it. I'm on to the next room now. I just heard something open. I'm... See what's going on. There's something growling in the next room. I'm scared. in a long hallway right now and terrified are you advancing also like you're not staying in the same room the whole time uh that is correct i am currently at pipes that have three different colored wheels on them okay i'm uh i'm at an area where there's some stairs to go down so i guess i'm gonna uh, the area is filled with water, though. Bunch of valves, do you hear anything happening? No. Alrighty, I don't know. It appears that I can walk, like, there's the stairs that go downwards, and it looked like there was a door down there. Maybe there's a clue. Uh, if I go underwater, I think I can. Okay, can you hear me still? I'm head up to the map and see if anything resembles anything that you're describing. My room, my room is filling with water rapidly. I wonder if those are the valves I spawned. Probably. The water's still rising. Uh, the, the word over the door said green. Okay, I closed the yellow and blue valve. That makes green, right? It does, but the water is still rising. There you go, whatever you did, you did it. Okay, I opened them and closed the other one. Okay, my door opened, I'm on to the next room. Alright, I didn't have another room, so let me go up into my other room, see what's going on. I have a, uh, a gate in front of me. And there's something written on the wall behind the gate, like in blood. I can't read it, but I just have a lever here, and it says I can pull it. So I think I'm going to do it. Nothing ever terrible happened when you pull the lever. Okay, I pulled the lever, and the first gate in front of me went up. And there's now, like, a little center area because the second gate went down. So now I'm still stuck in between the gates. between gates so essentially it was like the entrance to like a Walmart so I pulled the lever and the front door open but then a gate went down like by before you actually get into the store how much space do you have between the gates not a lot it's pretty small 
Okay, I think I actually see where you'd be on this map then. Um, wait for you to get through the second gate. Yeah, I did it. I figured it out. I could reach back still and hit the lever again. So now I'm in an area. There's like a compass on the ground. Um, it says bring down the guiding light. And then I can go left or right. Okay. Um, so stare. If you're looking at the gate, turn a full 180 and then let me know that you did that. Okay, so I'm staring at the wall now. All right, now go right. Just turn right. Okay. And start walking, and there should be stairs on your right. If there are, then I know where you're at. Yes, there's stairs on my right. Okay, head down those. Why do I feel like this is like Jurassic Park now? Well, if you see a raptor at any point soon, then you know it is. Or a decapitated arm. <laughs> okay, so I went down the stairs. Now where? Okay, so on my map, uh, there is a blue X in the back of that room. Can you walk around it and see if you see anything uh, that we need to do puzzle-wise? Uh, at the back of this room, there's a big blue lever that it says I can pull. Um, okay, do that. I did it, but I don't think it did anything. It it might still have. Um, so turn around and go up those stairs. Okay, I'm back up at the top of the stairs. Okay, now go right, and it's going to take you along a corridor, and you're going to end up at a gate. Let me know if it's open or closed. It looks like there's an open gate, but it takes me back up some stairs. Is that the correct way? Uh, you said it was open? Yeah. Alright, go back the way you just came and hit that lever again, and then go if it's open or closed. Okay, yeah, I found there's a gate that's closed still. Okay, I just flipped the lever back the way it originally was, and I'm heading towards that, uh, that gate again. Yep, sounds good. Okay, yeah, it's open now. Are the same gate's open, or the different gate? The one that was closed a second ago. Okay. Um... Okay, so when you go through that gate, is it still a straight way until you see stairs on your right? Yep. <laughs> yes, it is. Alright, go down those stairs and you should be in a new room. I'm not sure if it matters, but it was actually stairs that went up. Does that... is that okay? Uh, yeah, I think they do go up. That's fine. Okay, I'm in this new room. Okay, so if you look straight ahead, there's another set of stairs. To your left, there's a hallway, and to your right, there's a gate. I see all of this. Gate open or closed? Uh, it's closed, and it's green. Okay, um... Go all the way back to the room with the first lever. The one that had the blue lever? Yep. Uh, we need you to flip it so the gate you came through is closed and a new gate will open. Okay. 
Okay, I flipped that blue lever back again. Okay, so now go up the steps that led you into the lever room, and then go left. And you're gonna go pack past your white gate. Uh, you're gonna go up some stairs, take a right, go down some stairs, and then just keep following it. And there should be a new blue gate that'll be open. I hope. Okay, so I went past it. I went down some stairs, and then on there's stairs on my right that I'm going back up. <gasps> Oh my god, there was something fucking in the hallway here. I'm scared. Uh, yep, that wasn't on the map. Sorry. Warn me about these things. Okay, so now I'm at another T. Um, I'm looking at a picture of a dog that looks like it's drinking some semen off of the ground. Uh, and there's stairs to my left that go up, and then there's just a hallway that looks like another corridor to my right. Uh, stop looking at semen dog and take the corridor on your right. But this is the way that that thing went! Uh, sorry. I feel like that wasn't very sincere. Okay, I found the other blue gate that's open. Uh, and it's- there's some stairs, I'm going down the stairs past the blue gate. Okay, roger that. There should be a green lever in there, and then stairs on the left of it. Do you want me to pull the green lever? Uh, verify to me that the gate on your left is open. There is a green gate, uh, to the left up some stairs that is open right now. Okay, flip the lever. Okay, it's flipped, and that gate at the top of the stairs is now closed. <sighs> yep, just like I thought. Now take a uh, backtrack all the way to the blue lever and switch it. Uh, real quick, just uh, just so you know, this game's awesome. Over. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is. I'm I'm really enjoying myself. Other than the fact that I'm fucking terrified right now, and I just got lost for a little second, but now I know where I'm going. Uh, it's pretty peaceful in this library. I'm enjoying it. Uh, suck a dick. Thank you. Over. I'm just kidding, I take that back. Please don't leave me here. Okay, uh, I pulled the blue lever. Okay, um, now go back up the steps, go right, go past the open blue gate, and you're gonna go back into that room with the, uh, the green gate that was closed and go in there. Okay, I see the green gate that is, uh, that is open, and there's a chain leading into, like, a little hole in the wall that is broken. That doesn't make me feel good. Something's on the loose. Yeah, that, uh, that sounds lovely. Good luck. Okay, I went past the green gate, and there's some stairs right behind it. I went down the stairs, so right now I'm at the bottom of the stairs. Okay, there should be a red lever. Go ahead and pull that. These levers look like little penises, but yeah, I tugged on this one. Done. Now we know where Seaman Dog came from, okay. <laughs> okay, where do I go? Okay, um, so the green gate's still open, correct? That is correct. Okay, go out your green gate, take a left, go back to your blue lever and tug it. Don't you just love that I'm directing you through this? You feel like your life's in my hands. Utterly fucking terrifying. Alright boss, I did exactly as you said. I found the blue shaped penis and gave it a yank. 
Roger that. Uh, <laughs> take a left up the stairs and go back through the now open blue gate. You uh, you need to go find the green dick to tug on. Which way was it to that uh, the other blue gate? Uh, go up the steps that let out a blue dick chamber and take a left. 10-4. Found the semen, dog. Okay, I'm supposed to flip the green lever again. Uh, yep, it should open the gate that's up next to you on the left. Okay, I cranked the green lever. I felt like I just jerked off an oddish. Um, yeah, and the gate went up. Go through it. So, uh, that's how you get a green thumb. Very nice. <laughs> I'm lucky if it's only on my thumb. Uh, ew. Over. Okay, so I went up the stairs, and there is now a red gate to my left that is open. Should I go through it? Uh, yep, that'll take you out of this dick puzzle, and we'll see what happens next. Oh, it says checkpoint reached. Okay, can you still hear me? had anything change here, but you let me know where you're at. You, uh, you alive over? Yeah, sorry. Um, so I'm outside now. Oh, yeah, sorry. So I'm outside now, and I just had to update or fix some of my audio because um, it's very windy, and I couldn't even hear what you were saying. So I turned down the effects. Okay, so I'm outside in, like, a courtyard. Um, there's a creepy man holding some nuts in his hand, and there's, like, a giant chessboard in front of me. Interesting. Okay. I'm standing on the chessboard and it says it is frozen solid. Oh, you're on a chessboard. Uh, do you see anything else on the chessboard? Uh, no, but I found a power generator that it says I'm supposed to try to turn it on, so I'm working on that right now. I have a film projector in here that needs power, so that might help. I'm cranking it up. Okay, I, th I, uh, I cranked the generator. I think we've got a little bit of power out here. Still not seeing anything here. Maybe there's something else I'm supposed to do over there. I'm gonna go look at it again. I'm not seeing anything else out here. Oh god, I'm I'm fucking dying out here. Yeah, I'm not sure. Oh, it's letting me uh, move the pieces around on the chessboard now, though. You don't see any kind of, like, a uh, chessboard and where I'm supposed to be moving, like, a pawn or a king or anything? Nope, nothing like that. 
do you have any way that you can turn on that projector or something else that you need to do? Because I don't have anything else out here. Uh, no, no power to that projector. Like I put the the film wheel in place, um, so that I could play it at some point, but it won't let me actually play. It says it doesn't have power yet. I don't know what else to do, and my screen is like completely like frozen over. I can't even see except for like a little tiny circle in, right now. Did you say on the chessboard you don't see anything else? It's just squares? Yeah, it's just squares. Okay, what else do you see in this courtyard right now? There's a couple of weird statues. Um, but other than that, there's not really anything. There was a generator that I turned on, and there was like a little crank on it that I needed to crank, and now it sounds like it's working. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. So I have like five books in here. When I look at the back of them, it says things like starting from the far east after moving two steps north, head two steps towards the west, uh, and then move two steps towards the north, take a step east before heading forward once more, which sounds like steps on that chest, right? Yeah, yeah, it does. Um... I, and like I said, I can't really see what I'm doing right now, because my entire screen is just, like, frosted over. You able to head back inside to get rid of that? Nope, that door locked behind me. idea to know what order these books need to go in. Okay, well, I froze to death. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that, uh, that was unfortunate, huh? Okay, so at least we got that checkpoint. So I'm still inside right now. So do you want to try to figure maybe, um, any other questions? Because I can remember all what was out there. So if you need to know if what was out there, I can help. Okay, so the, the way that these books sound there's an order to them I'm just not I'm not sure the order what do they say this out there I'm sorry I was talking what'd you say do you have access to a compass or was there a compass out there I did not see one no one that you picked up or anything like that? No, I don't have anything. Just this walkie-talkie. I feel like there was a compass way back in, like, the main room, but now I'm locked in, so I can't even go back that far. Plus, I turned so many times, I have no idea. Do you want me to go back out there and see if there's anything else that I missed? Uh, 
I'm trying to figure out which one's the starting book first. So talk it out. What are they? What it's, what are they called? What's the titles? So there are no titles. There's just those stupid like cat person images and stuff on all of them. But I don't think the images change. I don't think I saw any of those images outside either. Okay, so I did lie. The images do change on the books. So that's different. Okay, well, I'm going to head outside and... Um, Maybe start that generator back up again, and I don't know what else. Generator is back on. I've actually got the projector playing. Hold up. I'm literally watching a chess game happen right now. Okay, well, I'm starting to freeze out here. Um, what was the first move? First move should have been from first move should have been from the white team. That's correct. You said there's no pieces on the chessboard? No, all the pieces are here. pieces I can uh, one team at a time and the white team is the only team I can interact with first you can interact with the white team correct got it okay I think we are on to something hold up to the pawns and I will tell you which one to move I'm ready when you are. In front of the king, move up two spaces. The pawn in front of the king, up two. Done. Do the black pieces move by themselves, or now can you interact with it? I can now interact with them. Okay, the black pawn that's right across from the one you put, uh, move it up so that it's right up against yours. Done. Okay, now go back to the white side. Okay. The white bishop is on the king's side. You're going to grab that and move it three squares diagonal. Check. Side. I'm ready on the black side. Second pawn from the right and move it up one space. The second pawn from the right, which side? If I'm looking at the pieces or if I'm looking at the white? 
um, if you were the black player on that side of the board. The second pawn from my right, if I'm looking across the board at the white, and move it forward too? Just one. Okay. Uh, I'm getting ready to freeze to death. I'm ready again. I'm back with the white. To keep playing this film because I have to watch the fucking movements. Grab the white queen and move it right in front of the pawn two spaces diagonal. Okay, that's done. I'm ready with for the black. I'll go back to the black side and the horse that was behind the pawn you moved. Uh, move it in and two spaces up and one to the left if you're facing the white people. Okay, done. Alright, now go grab the white queen and move it up so that it takes the pawn directly across from it. Okay, I did it. Checkmate. Did my door open up? My door might have opened. It did. Oh, checkpoint reached. I'm my door opened. Checkpoint reached. I'm back inside. All right. Hell yeah. Okay, now I'm uh, looking at a big, creepy open room, uh, and I've got like a book on a pedestal here uh, that has five symbols across it. Sorry, had creepy noises. Say that again. Um, I'm in a big, empty room, uh, and there's just a book on a pedestal here, and the book is open, and there's five symbols uh, written across the page. So that's the books that I have in my room. Can you interact with it? No, I cannot. Okay, uh, what's the first symbol? The first symbol is... Um, it's uh, upside down, I don't know what to call it. Almost like a pentagon, uh, but the top, there's no line on the top, and it's like sitting on its point on a flat line on the bottom. Uh, one sec. All right, describe it one more time. Okay, so there's a flat line on the bottom, and it's like an upside down pentagon with the point uh, sitting like with its point on the flat line on the bottom. Uh, except the pentagon has an X in the middle of it, and it doesn't have a line on the very top. Um, does it look like a head with cat ears? <laughs> yeah, I do see that, yes. Okay, um, and it's sitting on a straight line? Yes. Alright, is the next image a dick with two testicles? Uh, unfortunately, yes it is. Uh, next line is someone swinging on a swing, basically. Um, there's like a circle at the top with a line right through the halfway, and it's like over an arch with a little squiggle at the bottom of the person. And then the next guy's holding maracas. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then the last one is a square with a wide open mouth and eyes with little hairs on the corners of him. Got it. The house that wonders why the fucking people keep walking into its mouth. Got it. Okay, so uh, in front of me in this room, I have a giant grid. It's a five by five grid. Okay, so on the back of this book, 
it says before one starts in the east take one step westward okay I just died Did you actually? I died, but it just starts me back at the entrance to this room again. Oh, okay, well that's handy. I'm not sure which way is westward. Uh, yeah, unfortunately that's up to you. I don't have any way to know. For... Okay, I took one step westward. I'm, I'm on... I'm on to the first block, and I'm, I'm still alive. Uh, and then it says, then start by taking two steps north, and then take one more step north. Just two steps north. It keeps, uh, I don't know if it's actually counting number of steps. I don't know if it's actually counting the number of steps or if it's counting how many squares I'm going. But if I walk across... Hold on, wait. Fuck, I keep dying. Okay. Okay, I'm ready. Two steps north. Now what? Alright, now you need to go one step west. Fuck. I don't know which way is which. Okay, one step west. I'm ready. All right, take another step north. Okay. Now it says go west some more till one hits the wall. Okay. Then head straight for the door. I'm through the door. All right, you just opened one of my doors. Okay, this is a weird uh, room that I'm in. And gentlemen, welcome to tonight's feature show. There's a play going on. It said, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to tonight's feature show. There's like a stage and there's like a, a door and a bunch of shit. Yep, I'm in a an auditorium with the theater that said the same thing. Okay, so what I have in my room, I have a button that says scene one that I can interact with. Um, I have a, a thing on the door or a thing, not a thing on the door, a thing on the wall that says blood light, that's like a lever that I can press. And then I have a, uh, a big box that has like six cranks on it, three across the top and three across the bottom. Uh, I just heard something really creepy. There's something staring at me. What is it? I don't know. I don't. I, I don't know. Okay, well, let's ignore that. Um, it said there once was a <laughs> castle filled with life. Okay, I see there's, uh, I have two little rooms off to the sides. Uh, one of them looks like it has a castle. The other one looks like it has people that are like running. They're like cardboard cutouts. Um, I, I don't know if that's something you're supposed to press. I have a, just one button here that there's a light above it that's like lit up. It says scene one. Should I, should I press that maybe? Yeah, that might be it. Also, do you hear uh, my walkie going on and off through the wall? I do, actually. I hear it. I was, I, 
I thought I was going crazy. Oh my god, there's something in here. But yeah, I did hear it. Oh my god, that thing just moved. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm gonna press scene one. You ready? Yeah, please fucking do it already. It won't let me. It's playing the sad music when I do it. Uh, I can try to turn this blood light on. Um, when I try to leave the stage, my screen starts going dark. Did that change anything? I flipped the blood light. Um, I have a red light on my stage now. It won't let me start scene one. There's a bunch of handles. Am I doing something? Um, I have an archway on my stair. Oh my god. What are you? Oh, help me! Uh, there's an archway. Press, pr bleh, pull another hand. I don't know how to get off of this handle. It says you can press the menu button to exit, but it won't let me. I'm pressing the menu button and I'm not doing anything. Okay. Um... I don't know what you gotta do, but you better do it. It feels like this thing's getting closer to me. I... I can't. I don't know what I ha how I get off this lever. Um... I've literally pr pressed every button on my controller. And you can't press, like, escape or something? I can. It just takes me to the menu of the game. Like, the options menu. Uh, and then it just puts you back up the lever when you're off of it? Yeah. Uh, whatever you just did was not right. That thing's close. I'm just, I'm locked on this one lever. I can't let go of it. I don't know what the hell to do. Oh, it's so close to me right now. <laughs> I don't know what to do to help you. I'm stuck. Looks like it's a marionette. Oh my god. I, I honestly, I don't know what to do. Um, fuck, I don't wanna, I don't, I don't know. I, I can't get off of this. It's like when I go to the, uh, when I go to the menu and I come back for like a brief second, I can see like my interact button. What the fuck? It is sitting in a chair staring at me right now. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Like I was saying, for a brief second, I can see the interact button pop up, but it's like automatically interacting me with the crank again. All right, what other options are in there that you can do? In where? I did it. I did it. I'm free.
you're free of that lever, does that mean you can pull it and then do the same thing again? Okay, so, um, I don't know what to do. There is a, the cardboard cutout in the room to my right moved. There was someone in the castle before, and now they're kind of like to the side of it. It's at the edge of the stage. <laughs> I don't know what to do for you, buddy. Here, let me try cranking this one. Oh, that gave me a person. Are you able to pull the castle lever? I don't know which one is the castle lever. Tell me what is uh, moving by when I do this, okay? Um, I have a bunch of people. I need you to pull the original lever you couldn't get off of. Doing that right now. Holy shit, it looks like it's ready to pounce. <laughs> Did it actually pounce? I heard the marionette finish the scene. Oh, I don't like this game! Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, so now the things are in a different order. There's different symbols on my book, because it took me all the way back to that last room. Uh, interesting, because I still have... Okay, well, explain the first symbol. The first symbol looks like a cat, a stick figure cat with its arms up in the air. The second one looks like a little mountain with a little, uh, spigot on top. Okay, um... Is the next one a circle with a cross, and it's sitting through, like, a oval -y box? Yep, uh, and then the next one looks like a candelabra with three legs, and then the last one is a guy with just a button for a nose standing in a boat. Alrighty, I got it. Uh, starting from the far east after moving two steps north. Okay. Let me know when you're there. I'm here. Also, I can hear your walkie again. Maybe we're just really close. It says head two steps towards the west. Okay. Now move two steps towards the north. Okay. And take a step east before heading forward once more. Okay, I'm back behind the stage again. Okay, maybe we can get this this time. Okay, so which crank should I do? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to tonight's Yeah, I don't know. That's show. the problem. I'll try I'll start with it by trying a different one. God damn it, he's standing there again. Fuck you. What did that move? Okay, don't do him. Um I want you to do I want you to do the very first lever that you got stuck. And then after that one, 
Uh, do one of the the other two that you you did last time. Uh, nope, wrong. The other one. Yep, that's the one. Now pull back the one you just hit before this one. Okay. Uh, remember for me that that's the queen lever. Okay. Whenever I mention that. Got it. Now what? Got it. Now what? Are there any levers you have not hit? Yes. I'll hit... You want me to hit one I haven't touched yet? Uh, yes, please. Uh, no, 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 no. That is, uh, king with a bloody sword. Take that back. others nope nope stop that's the castle one leave that uh, that's the king no bloody sword on this one uh, correct just a king Uh, any other lovers you haven't messed with? I don't... I don't think so. Interesting, okay. Can you repeat what you just said? Do the lever that was the queen one. Okay. Okay, other than levers and the red light, is there anything else you can mess with? No, I just have that scene one button that I can press. Okay, click scene one. It's giving me the wah wah sound. Okay, take the queen and king back and then hit scene one. That got rid of them. Now hit scene one. Oh my god, get away from me, Marionette. There once was a castle filled with light. Okay, that sounded good. That's a good start. King and queen, and then hit scene two. I don't have a scene two button, just a scene one. Okay, just do king and queen and then hit that again, I guess. I also I also have this red light. No, I assume that has something to do with the bloody sword. No, it gave me nothing. Just the wah wah. Um, try doing the castle with it. 
Uh, I can't remember which one is the castle. Let me know if I get the right one. Uh, yep, that's it. Okay, that sounded good. Um, try doing everything except Bloody Sword. Oh, that was Bloody Sword. close to losing here. There's a lever in the top left that it won't let me interact with. I'm not sure why. Uh, don't worry about that one. Just do the castle and the king and queen again. Hit scene one. All were happy and all was good. Okay, what now? Uh, retract the king and bring in Bloody King. Okay, how are we doing? Can you repeat what you just said? Go ahead and hit scene. There once was a castle filled with life. Alright, castle king and queen. three again with the crap. Not even staring at the marionette this time. I don't feel like looking at its creepy ass anymore. You can hit stage one again. All were happy and all was good. Okay, go ahead and bring out Bloody King and take away Normal King.
Okay, attempt hitting Act 1. If it doesn't work, flip the red light. Until the king killed all of you. All right, where now? Okay, uh, red light and bloody king. Uh, and probably castle as well. Give it a shot. If this doesn't work, take away the castle. No go. I'll take away the castle. Still no go. Uh, try flipping off the red light and doing the castle. That's a negative. Take away Bloody King, do the red light, and a regular king. No. Take away castle. Standing in blood, he proudly said. Hey, how's it going? I didn't like what we just heard, but let's get the fuck out of here. Do you need me to stand on this and you- wait, can only one of us leave? Only one of us can leave. Don't leave me here, I worked so hard! I'm gonna miss you. Wait, hold on. Okay, never mind. It has an option on you right now that I can pick you up. <laughs> yeah, I see that too. Well, it was nice knowing you. See you later. Yeah, peace out. Have we been here before? <laughs> oh my god. You left me to die, you dick. The, achieve <laughs> the achievement I got was worst friend forever. Mine was why me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, god. that was cool. All right. Well, this was We Were Here. This is really cool. Uh, some of the puzzles were kind of tough, but for a free game, this was uh, well, well worth it. Yeah. What, uh, you have any thoughts, Kurt? I'm kind of interested to see, like, some of the things that you were seeing, and I'm sure you were feeling yeah, know, the same I way. Do it from a different... Yeah. Also, I want to know if there actually is a way for us to keep both of us alive. I'm trying to think. I don't know how we could have done it, because that gate... 
I don't know. Maybe that pickup option was in that last room because there is something you can find in that little hallway that you can pick up and put on that, uh, that little... Maybe there's something you can bring with you? I'm not sure. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. That was cool, though. I really enjoyed it. Anyway, thank you, uh... Yeah, other than the marionette raping me. God, I'm glad I didn't have to see that part, but I could still hear him jingling around. Yeah, terrifying. It was awful. Anyway, well, this was We Were Here. Uh, like I said, there'll be a link down in the description below for you guys to check this one out. Uh, thank you so much for playing with me, Kurt. Yeah, no, no problem. And thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!